Hi, this is going to be about Brazilian checkers, as you can tell by the name. But first and foremost, I just want to clarify something that I have now put into the description of the uh, notes in the description section, not in the comments, but description of the international checkers video that I did upload before. If you're watching this, you've probably watched the other one. I think the algorithm in uh, YouTube generally suggests this, um, if you've seen the other one. But just to let you know that before I talk to you about the fact that international checkers is 12 by 12, that's incorrect apparently, that's actually the Canadian variant. And it's because Board Game Arena, when they did the app for that, uh, they obviously weren't aware of it. Maybe it was a Canadian who did the uh, development, but it's actually on a 10 by 10 grid. But um, back to this, like in International Checkers, which I did say it was um, optional according to on the website, you actually do need to be playing uh, to capture every single time. So in this game, it is the same as I mentioned. Again, we're still missing this piece, so I don't think I can ever really play uh, uh, Checkers really on this uh, table. But um, on this particular board, you will always play on an 8x8 with Brazilian Checkers. Now, of the variants I'll be showing you, it is actually the newest. It came out in 1930. And like uh, international checkers, the rules are identical. You can fly, which means you can go as far as you like, and then you can take, and then you can still hop over and continue going around if necessary. So there's no other difference. It's on an 8x8, and it's compulsory, like I said, like international checkers, unlike in drafts, aka um, checkers or regular checkers. Additionally, um, unlike those two as well, you can fly, as I said, like in international checkers. You might have noticed I haven't done a review on what I think of all these variants, including Russian, which is coming up. And that's because I want to do a separate video and talk to you about all of them. In particular, a bit more detail about the Russian one and how it came about and its influence and stuff like that. Very much looking forward to the Russian one. There's a particular thing in the Russian one I've yet to achieve, and I'm very keen to do so. Anyway, um, that's a, a short intro video for here. Just to remind you that if I did something like this, you'd have to take. Obviously, they can choose where they take, but um, uh, you can choose as well. If it was something like uh, this, you could choose to take once or you could choose to take twice. It is up to you. Um, I'm wondering if the Canadian variant, though, is going to be on a case of it being... Uh, a bigger board purely because, I don't know, that maybe there's more time on their hands, and that's why these are bigger board. The international variant, though, is predominantly played in Europe, and I think it's more Eastern Europe as well. Um, but, yeah, uh, please do let me know if this makes sense. And if you do want to see that Russian one first, if you haven't already, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll um, be more likely to get it earlier, as well as if you happen to understand this, and it makes it clearer to me. I was getting about 115 likes last month, so knowing if I'm getting more likes this month tells me this is the kind of stuff you're after. If not, plop something in the comments box or check the description again in case there's anything here that might need to be re-clarified. But thank you very much, and I look forward to bringing you the Russian one in um, a few days' time. So thanks very much, and speak to you again soon. Goodbye.